So here's sort of a monstrosity of an example. Uh, this problem tells you to um, so we want to describe p in terms of parametric equations. So let me tell you how, you, at least what it is geometrically. We have these two circles. One has radius a, one has radius b, and we're looking at an angle of theta. I'm taking a line tangent to the circle, seeing where it crosses the x-axis. I'm calling that point B. I'm looking at the same line and looking where it crosses the smaller circle of radius little b, drawing a horizontal line, and seeing where that meets this vertical line from B. It's easy to find the Y coordinates of P because, because of this triangle here. So we know sine of theta is this height here divided by the hypotenuse, which is B, since we're on the circle. So this height, which is the same thing as the height of P, is B sine theta. To find x, that's a little more tricky. Uh, you have to be a little clever here. One way you could do it is to divide up divide up the length here into two pieces. The first piece, this has length a cosine theta because the hypotenuse here is a, angle is theta, so we want opposite over hypotenuse to be cosine theta. And if you solve it, you get that. So we know this first chunk to get the rest, we have to remember from geometry that the, the line tangent to the circle is perpendicular to the radial lines. So these two angles are complementary, and this is a right triangle, so this has to be theta right here. Now we can figure out this length because, let's see, we know this total height is a sine theta for the same reason that this was a cosine theta. This is the length we want to know, let's call it L. So we know opposite over adjacent tangent, that's L over adjacent is A sine theta. That gives the length L is A sine theta tangent theta. So the x value of P is this plus this. So the first part is A cosine theta. And the second part is A sine theta tangent theta. So these two parametric equations describe the point P as theta goes around the circle. You can sort of imagine it in your head. And although this example seems sort of contrived. Uh, think about if you were designing a Ferris wheel or something.